بشنم Yeah. Uh-huh. 
Freedom Friday. Happy Freedom you. Friday. Happy Freedom Friday. Ah, uh, let's see. Okay. You know much about George Jones? Oh. Or Tammy Wynette? We don't, but we're watching their show. We're learning. We should look them up. I wonder what everybody will know about them. That'll be the question. All I know is stand by. Yeah. Stand by your oh, man. Um, I don't know any of his songs. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, you better look him up before no, people says, get to hear. Sue says, who will be in first? Booker. Uh, well, one can hope. Booker's always in first unless no, he's it's, not it, coming on. No, sometimes it's it's the mousy mouse. Yeah. Sometimes it's, uh, well. It's not going to be Angus tonight. I don't think. No. He hasn't come in on time and. Bad joke there, leaving it alone. What? <laughs> um, what? He says Booker. Booker? Okay, that works. 
I think that works. Uh, Sue says Mousy or Booker. Mousy or Booker. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you see, we're betting here. I'm with that. Oh, Tim says George had a vodka issue. I know he had a he alcohol had issue. <laughs> really? We have watched. Are you sure episodes. about that? It's really good. I, I don't know if you guys get Showtime or not, but it's Tammy and George. La, la, la. What? What? I was just follow line. Follow line. Follow line. I guess I, now I think I'm in Queen. Follow love. Follow love. Follow love. There no. he is. He is? Who? Oh, he stopped loving her today. I know that song. That's a great song. He probably didn't write it yet. He stopped loving her today. today. Yeah. I don't understand. Well. Oh, was, he died in 2013. George Strait did? Yeah. I mean, uh, George Jones did? George Jones, and she died in 1989. I hope he didn't kill her. <laughs> Who was a bigger star? Uh, I don't know. He's got a lot I'm of thinking stuff. Tammy. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, George Jones was freaking George Jones. That's him. And um, and what? He says, who was a bigger singer, George Jones or Tim Luna? Let's see. What does that mean? Who was a bigger know. star? Who was a big? Who was more? Anyway, there's another thing on the horizon that I'd like to bring up with the uh, with the free for allers this, this evening. And that is uh, Megxit. Meg oh. oh! What? Okay. Megxit. Do you know about that, Megxit? It's uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable kids. It's Meghan and Harry. Yeah, oh, you gave it away. Documentary. Yeah. Oh, they want to know where your Christmas lights are. Where my Christmas lights are. Um, it's all day decorating. <laughs> they turned my power off. No, and where are my Christmas lights? Where are my freaking Christmas lights? Well, I have the outside ones. They have the ones outside, these for outside. So I do have these. Um, but I can't find my Christmas ship. Oh, kitties. Oh, wait. Pointing out What's she this? was the first children of the lawn, and today. And today, what? She was the first children of the lawn. She's yeah. in, in the house. I know that. I see. I see when the children come Jimmy in. He says, yes, turn on the Christmas lights. Okay, I'm looking for my Christmas lights. Now, Where are my freaking Christmas Jimmy's lights? Jimmy's was awesome. I don't think anybody mentioned him. Yeah, but that's okay. He was awesome. <laughs> Lori, too much Roku? Not too enough. much Roku. We love our Roku. Where's my freaking Christmas cabin? I don't even know anymore, guys. It's like it's getting out of control here. <laughs> Getting Christmas lights. It's in getting. Space. I had Christmas lights in space, um, but I don't know where they went. It's weird here, you know. Weird shit happens, yeah. and I don't understand it all. I don't understand. Oh, oh, oh! I was. Oh, Kitty said the notification is working again. Yeah. Thank goodness for that. Um, oh, Christmas cabin, maybe. I gotta search for my own stuff. Now, uh, Sue has saying that I White quit. Lotus is really good. Yeah, I've I have that. I have heard that. I have heard that. Yeah, we have heard that. Um, I'm a little scared to watch it, but it's you know I've heard it's good. Why is it really good? I don't know. The same reason I, I was scared to watch the crawdads because I don't know. Great. I don't want to get fooled. We just started a new series. I can't find my City Christmas. on the Hill with Kevin Bacon. Oh yeah, they, you want to get upset? There you go. Kevin Bacon is really good. Yeah, at being not likable, because he is really not likable. Not likable. I can't find my and Christmas. Ben Affleck and Matt Damon are. Yeah, they're the producers, and it's interesting that they're working together again, which is a good thing. That's a very good thing. Yeah. Where is my freaking cabin? Oh, and Laurie's notification is working again. Yes. Well, that's good. At least something's working, because my damn Christmas cabin isn't working. <gasps> Wait, wait. Oh, you know what, guys? I think I okay. Let's see. I'm not sure where this is going to show up. Oh, Ooh. how's that? You redecorated. I did. 
Very Merry nice. Christmas to you. Oh no, the dog will start singing. Uh, so how's that? Okay, mess around with stuff and stuff mm-hmm. happens, and now I'm in the black hole. But I could be back. I can go back, and go zing, and go back and zing, and go back. Um, okay, maybe nobody's coming in tonight. Then what will we do? We'll have a party anyway. That's what Just we like do. If you throw in a party. More for Everybody us. Shows up. More party for us. Right. That would never happen to us, though. What would never happen? More party for us, or no uh, one would show up? People would always show up if we had a party. Yes, they would. Yeah. And we're anticipating. See, uh, and now I'm dazzling on my own cabin here. I'm like, <laughs> wow. Yeah. It's like, whoa, man. Whoa. I remember nice. Christmas being a little kid. I mean, little kid, single digits. And uh, going to Saks in White Plains, Saks Fifth Avenue in White Plains, to watch Santa come from the White Plains Airport, you know, the Westchester Airport, to land on the Saks parking lot in a helicopter. And he came to light the Christmas tree. Um, And it was amazing. What? That's cool. Yeah, well, back then in the... Whatever that was, well, how long that would have had to been like the either the late sixties, yeah, sixties, early sixties. Well, let's see, sixty, oh, no, maybe fifty-nine, sixty. <laughs> well, I was a kid. I mean, I was a little kid. There, so I don't it even... had to be fifties. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Well, Sue says you got a psychedelic Christmas. I do. I do, and it's like it's like spacing me out, man. I'm like wow, colors. I don't know. Is it distracting? I, I don't. I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether the See, this isn't the one I was going for. Well, Kitty's serving Bailey's over at her chair. Oh, wow. Bailey's. That was a drink Robin Zander used to drink a lot. You yeah, know, he used did. used to drink that, too, when I first knew you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you oh, okay. That, oh, you see? Are we all wrong? No, not all of us. Who did you say? I'm not wrong. You didn't say anybody. I did so. You said Mousy. Ding dong. Well, somebody else said Mousy. Mousy's gone. I think Kitty said You scared her away now. Mousy, come back. Mousy, come back. (laughs) You can blame it all on me. I was wrong, and I just can't mouse without you. Mousy, come back. Mousy, come back. Let her go, Steve. Let her go. Because one is the lonely. Number. <laughs> How is everybody? Well, everybody is medium, rare, working on well done. How are you? Nice. Yeah. Okay. You know, it's been a journey. This last week has been a little challenging, but whatever. Tell, no tell, tell. You know, I'm, um, as you might have guessed, I'm one of those people who everybody calls for everything. So, I would get that. you know, it's, it, it, sometimes you just listen, you know, all they want is somebody to listen to their woes. But honestly, like my cup runneth over with other people's bullshit at this point. So honestly, <laughs> I'm just like, you know, between like the 96 year old mother and my cousin whose husband died and, you know, the one whose daughter wants to speak to them. I'm like, who cares? Like, just let's move on now. You came to the right place. Yep. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh, well, there they are. I, I try to fix anything I can. Hey, Booker. Oh, How are you? Angus. Hey. hey, Booker. Hey, Angus. Hey, How are you, Lori? Hey, Angus Booker. has a little nutcracker action going on there, huh? Yeah. Big B double O K E R. Oh. Did you guys? Did anybody hear about this dog that uh, escaped from its owner in Manhattan? Ran from 86th Street to 110th Street jumped into the hudson river and swam across to new yeah. jersey it's 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 all oh, they found him in new jersey they found oh. him his name was his name was bear yeah and was or is what is, is. No, he, 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 was underneath, he was underneath a pier or something like that and they heard him barking and someone got in the boat and went underneath there and pulled him into the boat but he was fine wow yeah he Wait, an owner is probably a wreck but uh, the owners, I, I don't think this is the first time the dog has run away, but 
I think it's the first time the dog ran a mile and then swam a mile. <laughs> the first time he ever went in, like, you know, interstate from state to state. But swam across the Hudson. Yeah, wow. that's, that's wow. Yeah, that's a little, you know. That's I mean, really wanting to get away from your owner. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. That's, can't take me back <laughs> to the I say pound. let him go, let him go. Freedom, freedom. Wait a minute, I found the dog. I found, I found the dog. Here he is. Yeah. Here he is. He's not there. Oh, really? Is he a lab? Yeah, you gotta hit play. No, he's a, um, he's a, I'll tell you in a second. Oh, wow, where is it? Yeah, they're he's, asking what kind of dog it is. Um, he's a, is a Leon burger mixed with Burmese mountain dog. That's a big dog, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's not small, and he, he, I guess he's a swimmer. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, yeah, if he's a, if a Burmese mountain dog, has that really uh the the fur that traps air in it so that they stay warm so i imagine it'd keep them floating pretty good too yeah and he was originally from bozeman montana bozeman Whoa. montana you mean yeah. where wow. you mean where yellowstone is is that where the show yeah bozeman yellowstone City? right <laughs> yeah yeah well you know i have an interesting topic for tonight if in case anybody wants to get in on this. What? I told you already. You were here. <laughs> Megxit. Well, that's how much she listens to you. <laughs> Megxit. <I> know. <laughs> you know about Megxit? Meg Megan and Harry leaving oh, the yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. We watched three episodes of that documentary. Yes. Ah, yeah, don't dude. be so quick to judge. Yeah. There's some shady shit that goes on behind those castle walls. Wow. Yeah. Some bullshit. Just when you think you know. You yeah. don't know. A peek behind you have, the curtain. You, you have feelings about that, Booker? Well, eh. uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know if you know because I have certain views of the Royals and certain ones of the Royals. Like, I, I genuinely think that Charles is an asshole. Yes, me too. Uh, and I've I been like an asshole up. for a long time. So yeah, I don't. I, I and you know when when they said things about her being asked questions because there was this thing about what color skin the baby was going to have and things yeah. like. That. Um, did I have a problem with it? Yeah, I just sent you the article. Uh, <laughs> did I, did I have a problem with it? Yes. When people were saying he wouldn't have, nobody would have said that. Do oh. I believe that? Not in a million years. They nope. absolutely said. I think, you know, the only person that I saw when when Elizabeth held that baby, when she held the baby, she was genuinely in love with the baby. Yeah. You could see it in her face. And now she's gone. Yeah. And they're like, we're out. Charles in charge. Yeah, well, I, yeah, man. And I got to tell you, well, I love the space, the space heads there, Joe. Welcome to the <laughs> we're uh, we're discussing Breg uh, Megxit. Yeah. Uh -huh. Harry and Megan. You know? yeah, yeah. yeah, I and didn't I'm, see the new um, it's a new uh, Netflix thing, right? Yeah, it's, just, yeah, it's yeah. really intense. And, you know, here's the thing. Those people, when I say those people, I mean, the people that are born into it didn't ask to be born into it but they kind of i think are almost like programmed like all right this is my lot in life but the people who marry into it nothing can prepare them for the shit storm that is about to take place in their life i mean it's look at truth. diana you know i mean you know it's all like smoke and mirrors as larry harkey would say and then you know behind those castle walls and then it's kind of like they rule your life it's like being in the you know the english mafia <laughs> yes, it is. It's like being, it's, and the thing about it is, Hi, hey, Rich. hey, Verge. Hey, Verge. Yes, Hi, sir. What's up, guys? Carrying on the trend. Oh, How y'all doing? We're doing pretty good. Better All now good. that you're here, bud. All good. We're a little sad here in Aruba because the Netherlands lost the soccer match. I saw. That oh. was a heartbreaker today. Yeah, too bad, you know, but Argentina's a a great, great team. So, uh, look, most of the a good hey, lot of the heavy hitters are gone. Spain is gone. Hello, Brazil is gone. You know, a lot of the heavy hitters are gone. 
Tomorrow is Boy. France versus England. That ought to be intense. Yeah. So who got? Who do you guys think is going to uh, go to the end? Who do you think may be the two teams that will uh, – I don't know. There's it's been so many upsets. I wouldn't even guess at this point. There's been so many like blowouts that no. How many are still left? Alive to go. Who's left? Yeah, well, they who's still left? have to do the semifinals and then the finals. So. Yeah, but who's left out of all the well, teams? That, you know, Spain what are our guys playing Morocco, each other? I mean, Morocco, yeah, England and France Morocco. are playing each other tomorrow. But so that ought to be. Uh, you know, Wales is out of all these traditionally like hardcore soccer countries. A lot of them have gotten their asses kicked out of nowhere. So. Yeah, by the United States. England did. Well, somebody put something in there. They they took their beer away. (laughs) Okay, the the six teams, because two got eliminated today. So the six teams that are left, uh, Croatia, who won today against Brazil. I mean, God, did you see those Brazilian guys crying like babies? I felt so bad for them. My tears just rolled uh, down their faces. Because they had one of those like last minute blowouts. Said he's probably not going to play for Brazil again or something like that. Uh, then the Netherlands lost to Argentina, right? Yeah. Mexico plays Portugal. That should be a goodie. Yeah, that one ought to be that good. That should be a goodie. Oh. And England plays France. Those are two good games. Those are two, yeah, that, that those are two games crazy, where the winner cool. could be the finalist, could be in the yeah. final. Uh, so then I'm going to put my money on England. They're out of it. No, they're not. No, they're playing it's France. Right. Oh. They're playing oh, France. Hey, uh, hey, blind data. <laughs> Blind data. <laughs> I thought I heard that the United States. False news. <laughs> well, no, because the United States tied. They, they kind of eliminated them from one tier. But you're not out. You're not out completely. Uh, so uh, it, it, uh, the, the way soccer works is very strange. It's like you lose and you get moved down. And then if you win, you get moved back up again. It's yeah. not like, all right, you're out of here. Oh, wow. So, well, Verge, I, I have a question. I have a knockout phase. The knockout, Sorry, yeah. knockout phase. So I have a that, question. Why is Aruba tied to the Netherlands? What is the connection? Well, it's, always been, uh, it's, it's been a Netherlands territory. Um, they like went, Puerto the like Puerto Rico is to the U.S., exactly. And it's um, it went uh, status apart. Um, 86, 1986. So, so, that, so then, does that mean that you're Max Verstappen fans too? Oh, which fans? <laughs> Max Verstappen. They don't watch Formula One. I have no fucking clue what Max Verstappen is. <laughs> Good. <laughs> He's a Formula One driver from the Netherlands. Hey, folks, I got limited time. I wanted to introduce my friend Ed, who's here from New Jersey. Hello, everybody. Hey, Ed from New Hello, Jersey. Ed. Hey. Hey, Ed. What exit? Yes. <laughs> I don't have an exit. Yeah. I'm homeless. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, what overpass? Yeah, what overpass? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't I think it's 156, actually, Clifton. Oh, yeah. I'm in Clifton. Clifton, bro. What's it? 152, 151, A and B. I, I, I'm, also, I'm also on Main Street in Little Falls. Well, I live right off of Main Street in Little Falls. Are you by Houston? My brother's on Houston. I'm on Stevens. Okay. Did you say penis? Penis. Yes, I did. (laughs) That's all I say. Let me ask you. Well, she thinks about. You're going to get crumb cake. Where would you get it? Clifton, Allwood Bakery. Oh, Oh, Allwood fucking bakery, dude. Wait. You wouldn't go. No way. No, Styrtown Bakery. Styretown. That's right. Styretown Bakery. Styretown. That's our litmus Styretown. test. That's right. Styretown. <laughs> that's okay, all. That's that's how Jersey you are? <laughs> if you go yeah, there. I mean, Jersey. Or how Clifton probably, you are? Yeah. I know Jeff is. Oh, yeah, Clifton. Hey, who has been to Rut's Hut? I've been there. To me, that's a number one man. I I fantasize about. That. It's the best. Yeah. It's the best. Yeah. Just give me some rippers. I, and let me go. What oh, is it? What I'm is it? We don't know what you're talking about. What is it? Oh, it's a, it's a, a hot dog place. Oh, okay. Uh, personally, you know, like the Little Falls Lady, I personally like going insane. to Bella Note. Hey, little Falls Lady, I personally like going to Bella Note on Main Street. Um, I, as my family is walking in the door right now with pizza from there. See, I'm hey! a New York. I'm a New York. Synchronicity. Oh, I got the email from the Vermont house today. Can we see it? 
Can we see the pizza? Why do they call him? I'll ask, I'll, ask, I'll ask Michael John to bring up. Why do they call him what? Rippers. Why do they call him Rippers? Because they boil them like, in and grease. And that's fryer in oil. They fry them in oil and they get all ripped up and stuff. They wait yeah, until they, like they break. You know how when you, you can get over a, a hot dog? Oh, dude, yeah. you have no idea how good they are deep fried. Oh, oh Boy, it's like, it tastes like a fucking filet, filet mignon, bro. I'm Definitely telling pain. you. Yeah. <laughs> Look at my face. <laughs> Lenny, have you ever had one of those? Yes, I have. I have. Really? What's the, what's the name Lenny. of the stuff that, that the, how are you? What's the name of the right, stuff that they put on it? We're taking off. Okay, guys. Okay. Okay. What do they put on it? Um, well, I always get mine plain, but they have them. They have them with all kinds of stuff, and they have chili on them. They like have Texas, with... Texas sauce, right? Or yeah, Texas... Texas sauce. Yeah, but there's there's something from Jersey. This is not from where Gabrielle is. is from. It's, it's, like, it's like a relish. That's not me. Well, I'm going back to my glass of wine. That's not you all have a great night. All right, brother. Nice to see you, man. Yeah. Yeah. Good to see you. you guys take care, okay? Bye. Okay, take care. Okay. Okay. Rudd's Hut with their secret Rutt's spa. Hut. <laughs> all right. Rudd's Hut? Yep. Angus. Yeah, Rudd's Hut. Why are you been here forever? Doing great, yes. bro. Doing good. I'll see you later. Angus, don't leave. <laughs> I don't know anything in Jersey anymore. Oh, you do. Hey, you do. Angus, that, that that photo you put up on the text everybody today, was that Diablo Thief? No, that's Diego Thief. Oh, Diego Thief. Oh and, my god, and, there it is. And um and who was uh was is Dave Hedden in that picture? Uh you know what? No, no, David, no, actually that's Beacon Hill, I think. Oh, I think that was. I think that was. I see. I see Pete and Jeff and you. Yeah, and Kenny Beer. On the stage? No, no, no. no. It, it's, a, it's a promo. It's a promotional a photo. Picture. He'll bring it up. Uh, oh, I, th I thought you were talking about the people behind him. Oh no, no that's. Uh, All right, look, that's Clara me. and the Nutcracker Suite. Yeah. Me, if you missing? Oh, I, oh, I know. I, I know where to find it. Okay. I gotta refine it again. It's gonna take me a minute. Um, she so, just, she, uh, Joe Castelli, she just asked me if I had a pasture. Well, I'm sure you have a pasture. One week you didn't. What? Oh, yeah. yeah? Wow, well, because I because oh, Lori Richardson likes Hoboken bagels. Hoboken bagels? Yeah, there's uh, there's a couple of really stellar bagel places in Jersey and New York. I mean, you can't well, New York. Even... New York. Yeah, you can't even imagine, like, unless you've actually, but my son's uh, former girlfriend who came here from Colorado, and like not in the sticks of Colorado, she lived right outside of Denver, so she had bagels before, but when she got bagels from here, she's like, oh, so this is what they're supposed to taste <laughs> like. I'm like, yeah, that's how it works here. Yes, because yeah. everywhere else, they're bread. Right? Yeah, exactly. There was a hole in the Tiny middle. bread. Shiny and then with bread. Taylor Ham, then you know. Oh, <laughs> oh! Unless you call yeah. it pork roll. No, oh. the only people from South Jersey call it pork roll. It's Taylor Ham. Taylor Ham, bro. Okay. Come on. Okay. So how far did Scrapple make it up here, or did it not? That's Pennsylvania, I think. I remember them having Scrapple, but like in West Virginia by my mother's house. But I don't think it ever made it up to Jersey as a popular right. item. I. I I've started eating it, it store, when though. I moved to uh, Pennsylvania. When I when I moved to Pennsylvania, yeah. I started eating scrapple. I still don't know what's <laughs> in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, uh, there's the hint is in the name. Yeah, yeah. Well, scrapple. Yeah, yeah. Scrapple. scrapple has apples in it. Yep, <laughs> scraps of apples. You're exact. That's exactly right. <laughs> I don't want to know what's in it. Really They're in apples. there somewhere. Oh. Right. <laughs> All right, Joe. I found it. I got it. I got it. It's, it's and I got. I got to tell you, you get it fried up and you put some ketchup on it. Oh. It's delicious. <laughs> so are cockroaches. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I've never eaten one. I well, I, I still time cockroaches before I go to the scrapple at this point. Oh, look at this picture. So this is Angus in the white hat. Oh, let me please let let All me. All right. <laughs> Holy yes, um, Pete, Pete O'Hara in the middle. Yes. That's, that's Kenny Beard to the left. All the way to the left. All, all the way to the left is Kenny. Big Pete's okay. in the wrong yeah, band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
who's yeah. the kid between who's between Kenny and Pete? That's John Pincus. He was the keyboard player. Wait, John Pincus who played with Impact? No, that's John no, Pittis. No, no. Oh, Pittis, right, Pittis, right, right, right. And then uh, there we go. Jeff Hambright on the other side. I, yeah, yeah, I, I knew that was Jeff. I but, think Pete is in the wrong band. Which one no, is you know what? Pete Pete was on the <laughs> cover of Guess. Wait, Pete was on the cover and he's of He's gone red. The one with the low cut <laughs> <laughs> he's he lives in Florida now. He's a photographer, but he was a model. Like he is one of the just for men hair yes. on the box. Yes. I, I, a, I saw oh, I, wow. I passed him once on the box. I was like, wow, that I, that guy looks just like Pete Pete O'Hara. And then yeah. I realized it was Pete O'Hara. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, well, okay. We all change Does over he time, really I suppose. Just for men or was did he, he what? Just, uh, did he really No, he was just on the box. He was a model. He was a model. Yeah, he was a model. Yeah. And Angus is wearing his hat. Years. Years he was on it. They, he said they took another one of them too. To put and on. now he's a photographer. He does uh he does portraits for yeah. uh you know I, I talk to him like a couple of times a month or something. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. cool. I still talk to him every once in a while. But um yeah, he said he took another picture about five years ago for another, you know, just for men's ones. <laughs> I've never seen it. Mm-hmm. I have a picture of that somewhere. I have to find it. You know, I wanted to tell you a story because Jeff has not been in. Um, he's up here right now in Jersey um, or maybe on his way back to Tennessee because they were moving their mother from one assisted living facility down yeah. to South Jersey to another. Um, but and I've been waiting for him to come on because I've been wanting him to tell this story. I didn't want to steal his thunder, but now I'm compelled to tell the story because I saw the email the other day that he had sent to me when it happened. So a few months ago, he and Judith were watching um, like some golf tournament, US Open and something like that, I don't know. And he said, we're sitting there and we're you know all comfy on the couch, ready to watch golf, which go ahead, whatever. And <laughs> so um, he says they started feeling sick. And Judith said to him, I don't feel right. And he said, I don't feel right either. And she's like, I'm really, really dizzy right now. And my heart is going crazy. And he said, I feel the same thing. And so they, they panicked because they didn't know what was happening. And they called the EMTs and the EMTs rushed to the house to get them. And um, when they came in the door, they talked to them and they said to them, what is this that you're eating? And they're like, well, you know, just like TV snacks or something. And it turns out one of Stuart's fans or something had given Jeff a thing loaded with CBD THC oh. that you're only supposed to eat one of. And the two of them are just munching down on them. Oh. And so they were like, yeah. I was like, how embarrassed were you? He goes, so embarrassed at that point. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, because asked. CBD for some reason, CBD and THC, they lower your blood pressure but raise your heart rate. Yeah, exactly. And that's what he said. He goes, We started feeling dizzy and our hearts were going crazy. And we were like, But you know, they thought they had gotten like poisoned or something like that, or they something had suddenly come over them. You know, at this age, anything could like cause you to like drop but dead at the, in the, at the same time. That had to be right. weird at the same right. time. <laughs> So, yeah, they called the EMTs in and, and they came to the house. And then he said, you know, they were kind of like giving it a laughing over it or whatever. But he said somebody like in the lobby of one of the places, like a, a, somebody that they knew, you know, gave them something. He said, I just thought it was like, you know, giving somebody some kind of like organic snacks or something like try these. So I was like, bro, good thing you didn't have like little ones there that you're like, hey, everybody. Let's yeah, watch a good movie. thing you weren't at mom's house. or <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, man. Yeah. So, but he hasn't been on to tell that story, but I was just like, ooh, bro, that's a good one. <laughs> wow, that is, did that ever happen to you, Don? <laughs> I missed the first part of this. <laughs> oh, you, see all these, you see all these colored things above my head? Our friends were eating them like they were candy and it turned out to be uh, medical. Oh, <laughs> well, that's good so value they, for they money. They didn't know when they called the EMTs because they thought they had some horrible reaction to something or that there were, you know what he said? Uh, like, you know, they thought there was like a gas leak or that's something. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> what I was thinking. Carbon monoxide. Yeah, something yeah. Like that. Wow. So. Then if you go out and it's still, it's still happening, then what is it? 
Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but but what show are they watching? They're watching golf. Of oh. all things, which how fucking do it. How fucking yeah. slow is golf to begin with? And then you get high. I mean, it's got to be like time standing still, or maybe going in reverse at that point. The wow. golf started to get in- interesting. Yeah, right. <laughs> See, I got to tell you, I'm scared of those things, and I don't scare easy. But what, I, golf? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not really scared of golf, but no, but uh, no, of the edible things, because I know what the real thing is and the real thing. You can see it and nobody. Why would I bother to try and make fake buds? You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 but yeah. Uh, gummies and uh, liquid drops, I, it's too much for me. And yeah. I don't know if it would be. I don't know. I, I just that weirds me out. Friend of mine gave me we were, went to somebody's house for Thanksgiving and we're not sick. No. And the guy gave me two edible things. Medical, and they're, though. They're still in there, man. I won't. They I, were sealed up medical. I'm afraid. I don't care what they, you know. You didn't eat either one of them? What? You didn't eat either one of them? You think I, I, I why was I acting like I did? I, <laughs> I don't know. I put. No, no. Lenny? Yes, you were waving your hand. <laughs> yes, the boy. Uh, the gray it, shirt. Had, it had to, it had something to do with what Steve was saying, but I've already forgotten it. <laughs> well, no, come on, we'll go back. Edible? No, no edible. I'm not kidding. You edibles? know, uh, uh, Snoop Dogg always said that he doesn't do edibles because there's no off switch. Like yeah. w- once you're in That's it, you're true. in it. Yeah, I mean, you don't know what you're, how far in you you are. You know, yeah. Huh? If you're gonna drop, you got to be ready to. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sure. I'm sure I told the story about John smoking the joint at BB King's. Did I tell the story? Oh, this is great. John didn't smoke. John pot. didn't smoke pot. And Whistle didn't smoke pot. Didn't like and it. we're in we're in the dressing room at BB King's after the show, and the the promoter comes out and he goes, "Oh, Steve, you're gonna love this. It's the best, right?" And and you know when you taste it and it's just got it's like a good glass of wine or a fine single malt. It's just holy shit. Right. I said, John, you got to try this. Uh, no, no, no. I said, wait, whoa, no. Wait a minute. Aren't you the guy, the best brandy, the best house, the best collection of everything? This is the best. Ah, so I tell you, and I said, now hold it in. Peer don't pressure, no cheap, peer, peer pressure. pressure. Holds this <laughs> puppy in, right? Blows it out. I, you know, and, and the, Tour manager comes down and says, okay, guys, I got your cab upstairs. We go upstairs, get in a cab, and we're on our way to the hotel. And he says to me, uh, Steve, when does this stop? <laughs> oh, man. And I said, oh, man, oh, wow. I said, soon. It'll stop soon. I'm sorry, bro. Really? We get up to the room. He's sitting in the writing chair, the most uncomfortable Louis the Thirteenth that you're not meant to sit in, at the right writing desk. And he's like this. It's like you think I dosed him, right? And he said, uh, Steve, when does this stop? And I said, oh, man, wait. I said, hang on, I'll, I'll fix it for you. And I go out into the living room where the mini bar is, and I pull out a plaza bar, right? <laughs> Cho- <laughs> chocolate bar. bar, right? And I go back in, and I said, just eat this, man. You'll be fine. And he said, where did you get that? <laughs> I said, out of the mini fridge. He said, that's going to be $10. I said, well, then sit there and spin for a while. <laughs> So he ate it. He ate it. <laughs> ten dollars. Uh, <laughs> well, that, that was back when ten dollars was still oh, like five. Ten dollars, yeah. So, Steve, I don't know if you went through this this week, and if you did, then we won't repeat it, I guess. But uh, if you didn't, I got to hear this story with Ant Whistle, Ant Whistle sitting in with with you and Leslie, and what that was like. Oh, that was such a cool picture. Well, yeah, well. <laughs> Ah. We're, <laughs> it's the only time I ever saw Leslie humbled, like, you know, not running the world. Yeah. Because we're coming down. I can't remember what the trip was, but we had to go right through. I'm looking at the map. we got to go right through Stow on the Wall, or, what, or by there. In, by where John uh, lives. By where John lives. And I said, we should stop by and see John. And Leslie goes, what? I said, he's, you know, he lives not far from here. Let me call him up. I call him up and I said, hey, man, we're wherever we were, Borton on the water. And I said, you know, we're not far. Is it okay if we come by? And he said, yeah, sure, come on. And we go by and Leslie, we're pulling into the driveway, right? And the driveway is like a 
mile it, long. It's like a mile long, and it's all. It's, like it's got a bus stop. It's there. ridiculous. It's. I mean, it's really. <laughs> it's, 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 uses, you know? it's so total, like over the top, but beautiful. I mean, you know, and you and you get there, and it's like pulling up to Downton Abbey, and Leslie goes, Steve. This is fucking incredible. And he's just a fucking bass player. <laughs> <laughs> so so I take him inside, right? So I said, you know, I just walked in and I I uh, saw John. John came down. He starts giving him the tour, right? And he takes him. He, the picture that you saw was the end of it when we were getting ready to leave because John was going to change and he followed us to Shepherd's Bush Empire. To watch us do the show. Yeah, I wanted to know how it and, was. Yeah, I will. So, um, but we're going through the house, and and John's showing him all these guitars, and Leslie's like, you know, I could have sold that for an half an ounce. I could have sold that for a half an ounce. <laughs> and so, so we drive, and it's like, and John's girlfriend's driving. He's we're, he's driving in a Harrods green and gold Rolls Royce station wagon. He had it converted so the wolfhounds could fit in it. Yep. And he's dry. It's like Our kids driving, like kids driving to a gig, right? We're hey, at least this way. So we get there, and and John's on the side of the stage, and you know they're watching the show, and and Leslie says, "John, come on out here, John, come on. They know who you are. Come on." And <laughs> and he, John walks out on stage. The place goes nuts, and Leslie starts playing. You really got me, and. Ooh. John's like, oh, great. You know, I come out on stage. I'm going to play two notes. Ba -da 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 -da. Yeah. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> and Leslie's just going there. all over the place. And John's like looking at me like, what the fuck? And I forget. <laughs> but, but Leslie, I've never seen him have that kind of respect for somebody Star else struck. on stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, I mean, when he saw the house and he said, and it is, I mean, it's, the, when, the way you see it is you come over this hill. I mean, whoever built it back in the 1800s yeah. did it on purpose. It's on the highest hill. John but, warned us. Yeah, yeah. yeah because yeah. we stayed with him in you, London. You come over the hill, and then it's like, there it is. It's yeah. like, holy shit. He said, now, it, it's a little overwhelming when you see it from, you're going to see yeah. it from when we get up on this hill. Like, <laughs> what? And all of a sudden, it's like, a mansion up on a hill. It's way beyond. It's it's beyond fifty rooms. I mean, it was it's insane. He had been to our house first, and he said, oh, <laughs> yeah, he said, I, "I have cottages, cottages bigger, bigger than, than this. this." And we're like, "Oh yeah, right." Hey, oh, yeah. thanks for coming. Yeah, he did. <laughs> thanks for coming by. Yeah, he did. He did. Yeah, it was. Uh, he didn't come. He came to our house first. Yeah. In eighty seven. Yeah. He said, oh. I have cut. Remember, I didn't. Clean yeah, up. I do remember. You're supposed to clean up. <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Well, that's all yeah. fine. So, yeah. So, that's uh, so it was, I mean, it was respect. Leslie was, you know, he was very respectful. And and I think that we did that with um, Randy Coven on bass. So, there was a good bass and a good rig for John to play through. And, yeah, it was, there's a bootleg out there somewhere. Oh, that's oh. pretty cool. Well, yeah. I, I, I always. Sorry. Did he give John a solo? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> he was kind allowed of. to walk probably, him down. Yeah, John probably played about three or four measures. He says, "Oh, that's the end of that." Yeah, <laughs> yeah but I mean, really, you really got me. I mean, I, I don't know what I thought we were going to play, but and you know, but John just after a while, after he's getting sick of playing G A A G A or whatever it is. <laughs> he starts walking around on the thing and he starts you know getting out there because he's got a decent sound um he was using uh uh randy's bass which was set up nice and he starts playing over the top of leslie and leslie's trying to you know i don't do i lay back do i play more what do i and it was just it was pretty much uh turned into a uh plug fest yes <laughs> yes <laughs> yes it turned into yeah so, but yeah, that was John saying, "Yeah, I'm just a bass player, pal." <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> exactly, and he's just a bass player. Well, he got more, had more money than Roger. Roger didn't write any of the songs. Yeah, yeah, that's the what the people with the money are the people who write the songs. Hey, yeah. I wanted to tell everybody, give everybody a heads up. Um, coming out on Disney Plus is this really it looks great. This really great documentary done by Mary McCartney called If These Walls Could Sing. Yeah. And it's all about 
Abbey Road Studios and how it was ready to close down. And Paul, you know, they came in and took it over. And she's interviewing a lot of people who recorded in that studio. And uh, it looks like it's it's really well done. And I, I, I can't wait to see it because I bet it's going to be super. I knew, yeah, I see at one point like she had um, was interviewing Elton John who had recorded there. But he was like nowhere where near known as obviously. And he said, he goes to Mary, he goes, and I just remember your dad walking in and like saying hi to me or whatever. So I was recording here and he's like, a beetle just said hello to me. Like he, he couldn't get over it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm really interested to see how that whole thing uh, came to pass and what went down. So And what's it on? What's it on? It's going to be on Disney Plus. Oh, Disney Plus. Plus. I think it's like December 16th or something. It starts. Yeah, raining. I saw an interview of her yeah. yesterday. Hmm. Yeah. Yesterday on was it on uh, Rosanna? What's a name show in the morning on Fox? Oh, uh, Rosanna. Rosanna Dana. Scotto. No. Scotto. Rosanna Scotto. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Rosanna Scotto. The yeah. restaurant man. They have the restaurant. Have you ever been? Anybody ever been to no. Scotto? No. Where? In New York. In New York. When I lived in Park Slope, I used to see her walking up Atlantic Avenue all the time really all the time yeah she was a news lady yeah she was a yeah. 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 yeah yeah and that's when she was that's when she was 100 percent journalist at that time yeah, yeah she was wow. i was gonna say she was an actual news reporter at that yeah. point yeah they well i remember those yeah now it's all opinion her news. mother and father had the restaurant i think because they would like feature some stuff on the news show some once in a while hmm. Yeah, but I That's think it's called Scott. But guess what? We with live Roku, there. we can watch New York right, News. Right, we can watch New York News with Roku. Yeah. Sign up oh, today. How are you going with that? Holy shit. New Jersey I, News. I, every day that I watch it, I feel more foolish for not doing it soon. I'm telling you, I'm kicking myself in the ass. I feel like an idiot. <laughs> it's like I, I feel like going and burning a few thousand dollars just so that I can feel like, you know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I stand with your cable. Yeah, wow. Exactly. Really? Oh, I gotta man. Go there. I'm going to go there. Oh, you got and, to. Well, here's how many. Let's let's have the conversation. Are you ready to have the talk, dear? Um, <laughs> <laughs> how many you how many uh, televisions or viewing things do you have in your house? How many cable boxes you got, mouse? Uh, just one. Oh, <laughs> that's it. Then if I were what you. Is it $9.99 that, a month just for the box? Yeah. Uh, you know what? I don't even know. It's just so effing ridiculous and it's you know what beyond the money which is annoying enough it's just their total control over my fucking life that really yeah. is the thing that gets to me that they're just like oh yeah we're gonna be really slow internet today when you need it the most or you know we're uh something's gone wrong but you're never going to be able to get in touch with us to call us about it oh but i know about raise that raise your rates for no friggin' reason and and you know it'll just come in your bill next month with some little like tiny little print you know disclaimer of like we raised your bill and you know you just stop paying attention to it and then i'm like oh my god how it's like a storage unit that i got over a couple of years ago <laughs> they just kept raising the rates on me and i'm like i now i got all my shit in storage i got i got i gotta keep paying it or, <laughs> or you know or get my stuff out of there well that's what the cable company is like they suck yeah Nibana, yeah. I'll tell you what. Angus is it a is, smart one. He cut the cord years ago. Yeah. yeah. It is so there's the there's the Roku Ultra, which is like the Zoot Capri one with all the bells and whistles, and it's got 4K and Dolby sound and all whatever that crap is. And that's the most expensive one that there is. 80 bucks, right? Now it's got a voice activated remote. Mm -hmm. You can get the wireless remote on your phone yeah okay oh bro you can watch while you're on your show no it's and okay. so so you, it, there's no worries about the remotes it's all voice activated if you want it to be you can turn that off and it's anything you could ever want to see we don't even use a dvr anymore because nope. once they play it they store it and you can just go watch it tomorrow oh, that's, that's a great feature oh and man if you have like 
PBS, you know how you have somebody in one state says, oh, there's the Woodpecker show on tonight, and you look on your guide, and, and it's, it's not, not there. You can go to whatever state they're in and watch it from there. Oh, that's oh, awesome. It's, I'm Anybody telling you, man. Cool. It's yeah. very cool. Now, one of the children of the lawn, Anton Juttner, just asked if we can get uh, – News 12 New Jersey and on Roku, and we can because I just looked it up. I was going to so, say, I'll tell you right now. Yeah, we well, can. And what, what kind of subscriptions do you have? Like, do you have no well, Hulu or HBO or Disney get, Plus? Or we have that? HBO and Showtime, but you pay extra those. for those. No, wait, wait, wait. yeah, we 10 have bucks. Netflix. We have Netflix, Netflix. Showtime. Showtime gave us a month trial free. Um, mm -hmm. Apple Plus is going to give us three months free. Um, so, yeah, but we had the four bottom cable line. boxes, and they were $10 a month, so we were paying $40 just for the cable box. Wow. Yeah. So guess what? You know, we'll get four services yeah. and pay the same thing, and that's it. Yeah, and because pay the same thing. the thing you're not paying for you is anything else. You're not paying for anything else. The only thing you have to do, make sure that you do, is get the highest speed internet available or yeah. be able to hardwire yeah. into your modem. But outside of that, man, it's, and, you know, we're coming down at 1,200, or, you know, 1 1.2 gig. So we're fast as it can be. But we were doing it at 100, and it was still working really good. Yeah. It's, and the thing, like, I think we talked about this last week. They're ready for you to do it. They yeah, know they you're going to do it. They gave box. us a free streaming box. When we turned our boxes in, I said, with, what is with, this? Uh, free is this like Roku, Peacock. Yep. Uh, free Peacock Premium. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. There's so a lot of stuff on Peacock Premium. Room. Yeah. And, and they gave us, I mean, we didn't even have to buy the box. Wait, who gave got, that to you? The, Xfinity, uh, Comcast. Xfinity Comcast. Our mm -hmm. cable company. I turned in four boxes and said, I don't want uh cable or the phone anymore i just want internet and she said okay and she said but do you want the streaming box for free i said Four what is that box? she said have you heard of roku or fire stick and i didn't tell her i got it uh, yeah and i said yeah. yeah she said it's just like that but it's free so i said sure give it to me <laughs> yeah and then they sent us one in the mail yeah. and we have televisions around the house so you know i'll just put those on that yeah. right mm-hmm but it's great. I mean, it's great. You don't what the thing about it is it's like shopping in a different store. You just got to figure out where the stuff is. And stuff then is, after yeah. a week or two, yeah. you're just there. It takes a while to figure it all out. Yeah. Yeah. It does. Well, you have the fire stick, right? Angus. Yeah. Yeah. We got that's, five, five TVs. They all fire sticks. Yeah. So that's yeah. Amazon. That's, that's Amazon that, makes the yeah. fire. Stick. And then yeah. we have this thing, uh, free cinema, which you go into and you can, find any movie any television show in there but it's but, but if you pick a movie it streams for that movie and try tries to find a server yeah that's, mm. yeah. you know and, that's illegal so <laughs> <laughs> but now now I subscribe to one where you can get servers from Europe also which aren't used as much as the ones in the states yeah we get a lot of English stuff yeah we get all kind yeah I mean Oh, and you know what? Peacock like Acorn? Has Peacock has that new George Clooney, Acorn, yeah. uh, Julia Roberts movie. Yeah, it just uh, came out today, right? Yeah. yeah. And we got it free. Yes, yeah, so we get that. We get God, Voodoo, okay, Pluto, so Access so TV, Sling, yeah. yep. okay. Fox News, CBS Sports, Apple TV, ESPN, no, CBS. No, Apple, you have to pay for it. But I'm they're just saying what, three is, what free. comes with it. Yeah, no, but you have to pay, pay for the premiums. It's insane, kids. I'm telling you, it's freaking. Okay, so who wants to know? So you, so one needs a great modem and two Roku for two TVs. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But you don't have to get the the you know you don't have to get the bomb diggity. There's like a there's a twenty four dollar <laughs> one um, that does all the same stuff. It's just you know. Or see if your cable company will give yeah. you one free. Yeah, maybe they'll give you one free. It's great. I We're mean, even the Roku though, because we researched this and it yeah. says the Fire Stick. No offense, Angus. Yeah, no it offense. It says Roku is more friendly to, you know. And it is more friendly. You can add channels easier and it's and line the thing up and set it up the way you want. It's really, really friendly and it's very cool. So, anyway. 
Yeah, we're happy. So them. what? We're saving like two hundred dollars a month. We want them to that. sponsor the show because we talk about them all the mm -hmm. time. <laughs> I, I think you should get some sort of compensation there. You get a Roku, and you get a Roku, and you get a Roku. I have a Roku. One of my my main TV is is a Roku TV. You oh. said that, so I mean, you already yeah, have it. The way it's but built I, right into your TV, Booker. It's built right into the TV. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. What? Yeah. Wow. So have you ever looked at it? What the Roku channel itself? Yeah. Well, the it's, uh, we, yeah. we have we have so many other things like you know, like I have HBO, Apple TV, Netflix, yeah, uh, Paramount, Amazon Disney, Plus, yeah, Hulu, yeah, uh, Disney Plus, um, Shutter, which I have AMC Plus and Shutter, which doesn't make sense to me, but. Uh, but I have it anyway. I have it anyway. It's the same thing. And if it, what happened is I bought AMC Plus for the year, and my wife already had Shutter, and I said you can stop the Shutter. She says, "But I like having Shutter," so she keeps Shutter. So it's oh, not that's okay. I mean. So, but it's like, <laughs> but got all of these other things. So I almost never go to the actual Roku channel. Wow. Well, the Roku channel isn't Roku. The Roku channel is its own channel that has yeah. all its stuff that it gives you. But yeah. Roku, the device, gives you portals to all these different, yeah. you know, like you can get anything you want. You can get it's Hulu like or, or what it's. Yeah, but it's not because you can add. I guess it's like your cable box, yeah. except it doesn't strangle you to death. Right. But we had we had fire sticks for a long time. And. They just with the with the internet server we had, it just wasn't working for us. Yeah. So when we moved to Verizon for internet, it changed pretty much everything. But we have one box in the house. One box. So. In one box. Yeah. And you can if you have one box, you can stream everything to any other TV in the house. Well, any, yeah, right. Yeah. Right. But, but you're still paying for cable. Right. Yeah, I'm still paying for cable. Right. Yeah, me. I've got I've got redundancy. So literally, you could watch the same show five different ways at my house. Unfortunately, I really need to cut that out. Right. Yeah. So I've got, same I've here. got yeah. the cable right bill away. for hundreds of dollars with three boxes. I've got fire sticks. I've got the uh, the hockey puck <laughs> Apple TV thing. Yeah. I've got you know a thousand ways to watch the same and subscriptions. You know, Hulu like. There's Amazon AMC. Prime, there's a million ways for me to Netflix, watch one yeah. show, you know, and it's just crazy. <laughs> well, yeah, it is crazy. And you know what's crazy? What? <laughs> <laughs> My pasture. <laughs> Your pasture? Yeah. I've been waiting for this. Time, yes. I like the yeah. background. I Are you working tonight, Booker? Yes, actually, yes, I am. Okay, so we got to let you out on yeah. time. Yes, yeah, yeah, the right, right, the top hat. Wait, my this... car is my car is on the fritz, so I'm subwaying it in. Oh, oh be careful, my brother. Oh yeah. Be careful. And it's cold. I'm subwaying it in and Ubering it home. Wow. <laughs> well, that's yeah, yeah, yeah listen, that's okay. a good thing. I, yes. have a, I have a question. Yes. Six degrees of separation. Booker, are you in you're in the New York area? Yes. Tim Arbacost, does that ring a bell? No. No. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> uh, that that'd make that seven degrees, wouldn't it? <laughs> I did. I gave it my best shot. Okay. Well, Don, actually, my my pasture is going to mean quite a bit to you tonight. What? 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 Oh, Angus, this, what? this background is where Tom Heinish is tonight. He's doing. I was doing the Nutcracker. The Nutcracker, oh, yeah. Wow. I guess in, nice. uh, out in West Hampton. So he sent me that. Oh, cool. I, I, oh, I, I, he, I thought he was doing the the punk version though. <laughs> Ballbuster. Oh, okay. Wow. Quick on the jaw, jaw mouse. Ah. Boom. Oh, Ouch. what? This is <laughs> this is the ghost of Christmas drums pasture. Ah. Ah. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Is, that's this is, I don't get it. Yeah, that yeah. I put them uh, I I piled them up. Mousey, you inspired me. I piled them up in the Maybe in the living room. Nice. I'm up in the living room, but I had to have the picture from Speaks over here. Mm -hmm. Oh God! 
Because it's and, right. and did you light did you light them up in your house? Like the No. Yeah. We did that our first year. No, together. no, in 1981 we did that. I'm the only thing that gets lit up in this, this house. This blue Christmas <laughs> light we did that with. Yeah. Our yeah. first Christmas tree was actually um a, a different set. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. It was the Christmas set. And I have that too. Them. Well, I I put up I put up Rome because that's where I was one year ago tonight. That's right. That's right on, on Freaky Friday. Talking that, to you wow. people. It was like two o'clock in the morning there. That's right. That's right. That's right. And we and, and those cooking classes. And, wow. Yeah. What, do, what do we have? And for, drinking what, lots of wine. What does what does Mighty Joe have? So much wine. <laughs> got some horses. This, this oh, is Altamont Speedway. Track. Just every year I put it up on the anniversary of uh Give me oh, you know, no. the Altamont concert. Oh. Oh, the anniversary of what? One of those horses? Oh, that, that's what Bummer. it looks like now. So wow. it's a pasture. Wow. It's a pasture now. It's truly a pasture. It's a pasture. Yeah. pasture. Oh. So did, you, you, did you hear this? Uh, <laughs> I got this one uh, quick joke. You may have heard it if you have stopped me. But, you know, the kid, this kid goes to his father. He says, I want to learn to play an instrument. Can you pay for lessons? And the father goes, well, you know, money's tight, son, but, you know, what What do you want to learn? He goes, I'm going to learn the bass. And uh, the father said, all right. And he gives him money, and the kid goes to the lesson, comes back, you know, and the father's like, how'd it go? He goes, pretty good. I learned the E string. You know, it's really good. So the next week, the kid comes in. The father goes, is it time again for, you know, you want money again for the lesson? He goes, yeah, I need money, Dad. And he goes, and he comes back, and the father says, how was the lesson? He goes, I learned the A string, you know, and his father goes, so this is going to take forever, right? And the next so week, sorry. father sees the kid. He goes, you're going for your lesson. You need money. And the kid goes, nope, I already have a gig. <laughs> yeah, I've oh. heard that one before, yeah. I have a Christmas joke. I, I thought of Larry. I, I, I thought of Lenny immediately because there was something about, there was somebody Lenny saw who only played one string. Yeah, yeah. One note. One note he the said. guy, the guy in the dolls. We op we opened for them in some college or something, and I swear <laughs> to God, this this big tall blonde guy with giant heels and leopard skin pants, and he's just going up and down on the E string, just looking for whatever chord they're playing. It was great. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> that was Arthur Kane. Wow. Okay. Wow. So Don, is that Don Mark? No. no, that's Harvey Goldberg, my oh. dear friend. Oh, okay. And that's when we were media sound. Yeah, me with hair. Oh, so you have the vest on? I yeah. have the vest on. Yes, he has the vest on. It's bulletproof. Oh, wow. That's, so <laughs> that looks like that's the 70s. That's a good that's throwback, man. That's, that's a, a good great throwback. throwback. That's, that's a good pastor, yeah. yeah. And so that you're I, sticking I with really the quails, that's good. Yeah, Chris I really got to run, but... <laughs> the quails i really gotta run okay, I, won't okay. in, I won't be in next week but i'll be in the week after all right Buck. Okay. take care okay, be safe have, have a great day. gig Bye -bye. Hello on for us. Take, care. take care i'll be careful <laughs> please yes hey lady did you adopt that little dog out yet yeah did you adopt that dog uh dog, that, are you thinking of a joke for tonight of the, one of the latest dogs over at the uh restaurant you just keep so pulling in dogs. dogs. That thing, I don't even know what it is. That's that's Pablito. Yeah, but you were going to try to get him adopted, right? Yeah. He will. I, I'd love to bring him them. home. He's yeah, Mousy wanted, wanted him. I do want him. And he's a, he's a tiny little dog. He's about this big. Well, that's good. He wouldn't take up much room in somebody's purse. Like if they want to. Does anybody want to be, fly? Uh, that little guy, Pablito, over to my house, then it would be like... Yeah. It must be part Chihuahua. Yeah, he looks like mm -hmm. it. Well, I got a new dog. You do? Yeah. Oh, here he yeah. comes. He finally got it to work. I can't get it to work. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> what is that, a, a Labrador? Angus, I'm going to give you a shot at trying. Do you guys know about the... Do you hear about the talking dog, the salesman and the talking dog? No. The salesman driving down a country mm -hmm. road, and he sees a sign. Handwritten sign, talking dog for sale. Uh, Three miles. Do we know this? Anybody? No. I no. hope you we heard the I don't remember. And he drives a little farther, a little farther. She's another sign, talking dog for sale. Two miles. 
and he comes up on another one. He can't believe talking dog for sale. He's out in the middle of nowhere, right? And he's thinking, I, are they going to trap me? Are they going to beat me up? You know what? But I got to know. Finally, he gets to the farm. He sees talking dog next right. So he makes a right. He comes in. And the farmer comes out and he says, can I help you? And he says, yes, I'm, uh, I'm here about the talking dog. And he says, okay, yeah. He's right around the back there. He's going around and you can see him and, you know, he says, uh, how much are you asking for the talking dog? He said, 50 bucks. So this guy's sure he's going to get the shit kicked out of him. So he locks his wallet in the car. He goes around and there's this dog sitting chained up to a, a stake. And the guy looks at the dog and the dog looks back at the guy and the guy looks at the dog and the dog looks back at the guy and the guy finally says, do you talk? And the dog says, sure do, been talking my whole life. He said, the minute I came out, I, I was started talking. He said, they found out I could talk, and they sent me into law enforcement. I was doing undercover investigations here and there. Then they started using me for the FBI. I got sent overseas. I'm going over to see all these crazy things. I was a gift to all these heads of state, and, they, and they, I had to report back the secrets. He said, they made my life a mess. I finally got injured, and they tired me out here to this old guy. The guy says, hang on a minute. He's peeling 50 bucks out of his pocket. And he says uh, to the farmer, he says, listen, I'm going to take him. But why 50 bucks? He said, ah, <laughs> that dog's full of shit. He hasn't done any of that shit. <laughs> I knew you would like it, Mousy. I knew. It was going to fly big in your room. So, Angus, you got your dog? I, I don't know why it's not working, but let's try it again. Are you trying to get that swimming across the Hudson dog? No, it's, it's still Bear. not working. I already saw him. Give, give me a minute. I'm going to try something else. Yeah, right. What do like... you call him, Blackie? <laughs> Blackie. Yeah. This is him. I get it. No, that's not. We're talking about Angus's dog. Yeah, because all we saw was black. Right. Well, this is bear. Uh, yeah. He'll get it. Give him a when, second. When you have to explain the joke, it's it's. I yeah, it's not. Yeah. Oh, I I'll, I have a Christmas joke. I'll tell you a Christmas joke. Go ahead. So, um, a little boy wants a bicycle for Christmas. Pretty expensive bike, and he's a little Catholic boy, and he kneels down by the side of his bed, and he says, "Dear Jesus, if you get me that bike." I promise I will never commit a sin again. I will be good for the rest of my life. Please get me the bike. Amen. Gets into bed, thinks about it. And he's like, yeah, there's no way I'm ever going to go the rest of my life being good. So he gets back down, gets on his knees. He says, dear Jesus, if you get me that bike, I promise you I'll be good for a year. <laughs> and he realizes that's never going to fly. So he does it one more time. He goes, dear Jesus, I'll be good for a whole month. Just please get me the bike. Gets into bed and figures that's never going to happen. So he gets out of bed, goes over. There's a statue of the Blessed Virgin Mary on the dresser. He takes her off the dresser, wraps her up in a towel, throws her in the drawer. He goes, Jesus, if you ever want to see your mother again, you'll get me that fucking bike. <laughs> that's good. Wow. That's a new one. Yeah, that is a new oh. one. That's a new one. Oh, God. That's Angus, the dog ready yet? Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, did you guys see this? Oh, he showed it. You oh. need the sound, though, bro. I know, I know. I uh, understand. Hold on. It's coming. That, oh, uh, I was crying watching this the other he night. He played it on the show Monday. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a real dog. Oh, God. I was like, why is he holding uh, that dog? Oh, is that right? The guy, the guy, when he does it the second time, I crack up every time. Come on, Angus. She drops her food. Oh, drops her food, food, and then he makes it go at her again. <laughs> He's been good to go again. Oh, dear. All right, ready? All right. <laughs> 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 okay. Oh, good. I can't stop the thing. Everybody's telling him down, down, boy, down, down. <laughs> 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 
Oh, what see. a funny idea. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, that, that was worth the wait. That was the worth the wait. Totally. Oh, that was. Yeah, it was Blackie. That was great. Fantastic. Well, so what's the name? Of, what's the name of that one? Well, I mean, there's no name. I just found it on. Uh, I found it on TikTok. Well, that's gotta have. Well, a, like, I gotta have send it, it to Lenny. Could, I can send it to you. with Fat Girl. Oh, I don't know, man. That was, oh. I, yeah. Uh, oh, that a blind guy <laughs> with stuffed dog scares pizza girl. <laughs> That was great. Uh, I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. I don't know how that guy does it though. You, the uh, guy is making the dog, the dog noise, but it sounds like it's got echo on it. Woo! <laughs> there it is. I found it. It's on YouTube, Lenny. Okay. Yeah. It's on, all right. Wait. What is okay. it? Okay. Put, put in uh, blind man with stuffed dog prank in his third one down. So I was pretty close. Yeah. Wow. wow. Okay. Yeah. Oh I, wait. All right, wait, he's man. blind. Blind. He's pretending to be blind. Right. The, uh, oh, that's it gets better and better. I think that's wrong on so many different levels. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Seriously, uh, pretending to be blind great. being part one of what's wrong yeah. on so many levels. Lenny, I'm sending it to you. I don't see why. So funny. Thank you. There, yeah, he goes. Oh. Yeah, I'm sending it to you. <laughs> here, you go, here you go, Lenny. Can you send that to him? Oh! I didn't see the end. Shadow. Shadow, relax. Relax. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh God! I can't. Uh, he makes it like jump in her throat. Wow! Okay, okay. Oh man! Oh, man. Uh, guess that makes up for everything you've ever done. Oh, oh my God! That's great. <laughs> that's right, that, that should be video of the year. Oh, it's I, yeah, believe me. We, uh, we should have a best of for the New Year's party. God, right. that's Let's find that. Just yeah, you got to get your showrunner on that. We need to do a a, a yearly recap. Oh, we certainly do. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's I I can't find it, and it's it it's a fairly long clip, but it's like a show band, but as a trio doing Sharp Dressed Man. The drummer, have you seen? Oh, that, is that played guy just played that. This guy, unbelievable. Where got it from. <laughs> oh wait, that's where I saw it on your clip. <laughs> Never mind. I, I think I think the title is "This Guy's at the Wrong Gig." Yeah. Oh title. yeah, I see that one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I played that on Monday. The guy with the flames on his drums, white drums with gold. flames. Yeah, that he's is got, hilarious. He's got a well, few videos out now. Him doing that. I know. Well, it, it just goes to show there are three signs of old age. And first one is a loss of memory. That's yeah. for sure. I can't remember what the other two are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, babies, I, like I got to run. I'll okay. see everybody soon. Bye, okay. everybody. Children of Elon, we love you. Great weekend. See you Friday. Good 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 everybody. Bye. Bye, Laurie. Bye, 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 Angus. Bye, bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Later. See you later. <laughs> Good night. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I know you want to see it again. <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, my God. Down, Shadow, down. Oh! And the sound. Yeah. Well, I didn't, I, Angus didn't have him attacking the girl. Though. No, he didn't. Because his was on TikTok. Oh, that that was one yours was on YouTube. Yeah, so but it was got... from TikTok. It said TikTok on. Oh. But now we have, you know, Russian spies in our phones. So, that's because oh. we watched that. Okay, so, so Monday. Monday. Steve and Angus. Oh, God. So, if you thought that was funny, <laughs> pop it on Monday. Have a great Children yeah, have a great weekend if we don't see you in the future.
I don't see you in the future. I'll see you in the pasture. Good night, everybody.